to further customize how this feed works, I can right click the feed in the favorites and choose properties. This will open up the feeds property dialog box. So currently, right now, there's I'm not required to put any username or password in. I can adjust the settings on that. I can adjust my update schedule. Right now, the default is every single day. I can adjust the settings, automatically check for feeds and web slices, maybe every hour, every week, whatever is beneficial for you. In the advanced settings, we have the ability to automatically mark a feed as read when we're reading the feed. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good choice to make. That way, I don't have to physically go and say that I've read it. You can turn on the feed reading view, play sound when a new feed or a new web slice is found from a web page, play a sound when a monitored feed is updated, or turn on a page slice, turn on page web slice discovery. So there are some options that you have available to you there. Also, another one that's really important is the archive. You can set the maximum number of updates you want to save for this feed. And it will, it, uh, it is a good idea to come in and check this and make sure that you're not saving too many of those feeds and it's taking up too much hard drive space. We'll go ahead and click OK to cancel out of the feed properties dialog box.